Hi everyone. So this is how I use Google Gemini to create YouTube chapter titles and timestamps so that I can put it into my video for better search engine optimization of my YouTube videos and just a better user experience. So first of all, I um, here is the prompt. And uh, by the way, I will of course put this in the notes below this video. Now what I'm probably going to do actually is I'll put it as a pinned comment below this video because I probably will modify it over time, make upgrades, etc. But you can you know, see it below in the pinned comment. So let me kind of explain to you what's going on here. So I'm giving Google Gemini these instructions, um, except for this one, I'll explain this. So I say before giving me the output, first follow these instructions. So I want it, I want it to like do some stuff in the background before it gives me the answer so that it doesn't just like output something and then realize it did something wrong, right? So um, I say summarize the key points of this video. Uh, I find that this works better because it has looked through the transcript and gotten the most interesting ideas uh, for the video. Uh, so this is where, of course, you put whatever YouTube video you want to create YouTube chapters for. This is one of my videos. And then step two, create at least 10 chapter titles based on the summary. So again, I'm having it kind of do this work in the background before doing the output. Um, if it's a shorter video, I, you know, if it's like a three minute video, then instead of 10 chapters, I might ask for like, I don't know, um, five or something like that. Um, and, but a lot of my videos are like 15, 20 minutes long. So I think 10 chapters is good. So I'm just going to take this out. Then review, and then I asked uh, Gemini to review the transcript again. Now, I'm not entirely sure whether it actually does this, but I find that this seems to work fine. So I keep it in there. Then review the, well, I'm sure as AI gets more advanced, this will become even more, uh, um, you know, actually done by the AI. But anyway, review the transcript again. I'll put the exact timestamps where each chapter begins in the video. So again, you'll, you'll see that it's pretty accurate. It's not 100%, but it's uh, much faster than me going through the video myself and, and, and saying, oh, well, I start here talking about this and that. So at least it gives a, a good starting point. Please look up the text formatting for, oh, please look up how YouTube chapter titles are usually formatted in their text. So I ask it to do a bit of online research or look, in, look into its own database. And finally, please output your response in a way I can simply copy paste into the YouTube description field. Only give the format of timestamp chapter title and not any bullet points underneath each title. I find that if I don't do this, it'll give, you know, timestamp chapter title and then a couple bullet points about what that chapter is about. So I, it wasn't helpful for copy pasting. And then after it gives it to me, after the response, I then give you give this second instruction. Now take the above output and make it more similar. So even if it does give bullet points underneath each uh, title, you can give a second prompt and it'll like clean things up. So anyway, let's give it a try. I'll show you what it does here. Uh, Google Gemini. And I'm, I'm doing I'm doing it for this video where it's um, I think it's this one is uh, 20 minutes about 20 minutes long. And I find that it's about the same result, whether it's Gemini advanced, I can actually can't tell the difference between these two for this particular uh, task. But uh, if you play around with with advanced and you see any difference, please do comment below. But I'm just using Gemini because that's probably more accessible to more people here. So I'm pasting in the first prompt. Okay, go. And then what it does is it will, of course, use the YouTube extension. Um, and I, I should re very much clarify, this only works for public YouTube videos at this time. I tried it on unlisted videos, several of them, and it didn't work and certainly not private videos. So make your video public first before you try this out if you want this. Okay, so this is a good example. Even though I told it not to put bullet points underneath each chapter title, it went ahead and did that anyway, which is why I do find that the second instruction uh, is helpful. So, uh, and I, I did go into my, um, I did go into my uh, video and like looked at whether these timestamps are, are accurate. And I would say they're 80% accurate. They're, they're pretty good. I mean, I could get more exact on it, but you know, if, if you want to save time, this is honestly good enough and the user, the, the, the viewer probably won't complain. So then I put in the second one and watch what it does. Um, it will now give uh, something I can just copy paste. I'm going to edit this video and show you. Um, <clears throat> Okay, so I'm going to put the chapter titles in here that it gives me. Here we go. Intro. Okay, you always have to put zero colon zero zero intro because 
Um, there you go. Okay, wow, that's a lot of them. That's more than 10 for sure. And then once I do that, and it doesn't have to be, you know, the bullet points don't matter, of course. Once I've done this, now if I go to my video, and this may take, um, this may take a while. So, oh yeah, there it is. It's already there. It's already, well, anyway, I think I have to re, re oh no, it, it's already there. So I scroll, I, I, I move my mouse underneath the video, and you could see um, the chapter titles are all there. So pretty cool. All right, well, play around with this. Um, of course, I, I hope that we are learning together on how to do this stuff. So please do uh, try these things out and try out the prompt. If you come up with an even better one, I'd be grateful if you could comment below and um, I might pin your comment. Uh, so anyway, enjoy and uh, looking forward to seeing uh, if it works well for you as well.